So my friends, what I'll do here is I'll I'll give a reading according to what needs fixing. Usually these are the big readings that I do and it's not even half of what I can do when I do work on an individual basis. Here we go. This reading is for the year 2016. For seven chakras, what needs alignment, what needs focus and attention. I use symbolism, I don't use tarot, I don't use traditional cards per se. This is what I do when I do grand readings. I have like basics, medium and um, le grand. And this is like a, a, a grand reading in part. Where everybody, this is like the quantum test that finds me will find parallels in what I'm saying to you. So this is going to be long. So take pen and paper, glass of water, relax and listen to the parallels that I, your topic. I'm talking directly to you and what we are beginning with for the year 2016. I'm trying to make it as compact and as fast as I can. So, what I see in the beginning is the appearance. So things with your chakra First chakra, what's very important for you has to do with your appearance. Also has to do with your mind. That's your first chakra, okay? The root chakra. These are the things that you need to pay attention to is how do you appear to others? How do you think you appear in your mind? Then we have something like the faulty recorder that means like in your past you've been given the wrong message and you re recorded the wrong message. Keep repeating over and over the wrong message. It's time to fix that and it's time to change that and get out of that. Then we have your power. Root chakra, your personal power. Find out now where your personal power is. This is the year. This is the year to really root in what your personal power is. Also finding out what's your passion. Also, I make it a little easier get the get the pad in my hand so I can read these things much easier. Is um also what I'm seeing here is um your desire. What are your root desires? Love, passion, relationships, open, closed, whatever variables you have that you've ever wanted to live, it's the time now to engage and live that. Then you have something um, that is the key to insanity, the key to your own inner sanctum, to insanity meaning actually to be inside sanity, actually meaning to be clear, where people at first will think that you're crazy but you're not because you're going inside of your own clarity. That is the appearance of what they say, an idiot, but you're not an idiot, you're independent. You're moving onward. Orange is the color that's needed for the root chakra. So that's the balance of the sacral to the root. You know, how you appear, how other people perceive you. Um, I also see an invisible force that comes from outer space, meaning like whatever is out there, whatever intuition that comes in, listen to it. Listen to the guide. The only competitor is the uh, shadow of the arrow guy. That is, the competitor is you. You comparing yourself to others in situations is actually you encanting the uh, deficit of what you're not having. That is to understand the greatest opponent is actually you. Once you have overcome that opponent within you, you have the opportunity to become the sailor, meaning travel. So a lot of travels are possible for you once you clear your root chakra, that's level one. Okay, let's go to level two. That is <clears throat> the sacral chakra. And I hope I get all these chakras right because I keep forgetting. 
Just remember the numbers. So this is the second chakra. Yeah, there's the book of rules, doing it by the book. Look at it. Sometimes it's doing, doing it by the book is actually really good, but this is now the cosmic book, the intuitive book. And that means you have to use the circuitry of your solar plexus, which is yellow, and bring the yellow energy into your second chakra, meaning willpower. The willpower into enforcing of such into this second chakratic information. That also gives you a perspective to look at what nonsense is in your life and really, really get a clear view of what is really nonsense and non-essential for you. Also know that the sum of your choices lead to certain certainty, such as the sun rising or weather is certain. So know the certainties in your life, things that are clear. There's also um, the coward here that runs from his own shadow that I see. So find out where, where, where's the chicken? The chicken that runs from its own shadow in you. Master that, overcome it, be somebody, be selfless, be to muggle senseless, but very eventful for you because that's your infinite self that I see. That has to do also with sacral chakra leading to the sexual energy has to do with an old injury there. Whoever had an injury and your joints, wherever that is, that has to do with that, that's connected with that. Go back to that memory, review that memory, heal that memory, forgive in your heart and let go. You do not have to forget, but forgive. That releases heart energy into you and the heart energy is the green template that I see that goes again, green energy fused into the second chakra. And that enables you to overcome the shadow, basically seeing the shadow and seeing the blank slate in yourself. When you overcome the shadow and you integrate blank slate, new start, everything begins anew. That is ultimately the uh, transitional tool for your transformation into change from the caterpillar into the butterfly. That has to do with change. So be ready for change. Allow that in. Allow to be aroused by life naturally. That is okay. You have a guardian, you're protected. That has to do with past lifetimes in uh, medieval times as a knight or uh, priestess or knightess or however you want to say it, like female or male, doesn't matter. And that medieval times where the knights used to you know, have their rounds, that's where the healing begins. There was also an intruder in a mask, so watch out for deceit and people coming with false prophecies, uh, false information giving you a lot of theoretical fluff and nothing really happens. So if you have a healer and you have no results, change your healer. If you have a tarot reader that reads to you stuff that doesn't make sense in your life at all, change the reader. That activates the child in you, the spirit. I see a little elven green child here, childlike, that's the spirit. And that is the activation for your second chakra. Now we're going to the third chakra. I see here your birthing wisdom, understand your wise being, be present. Um, when you're in deep waters, know your surrounding areas before you go there. It's an unknown territory, <clears throat> as in rebirthing the new dimension that is already here, but the accessibility is up to you and your mind state to actually see that and phrase that, put to action. That's your inner hero. Uh, the, the inner hero will uh, ultimately defeat the illusion of what was, no longer will be, and will, will not work. See that and be clear. Again, it has to do with being present. And that is the death of the old self is certain. Most certainly, your old self will no longer apply in the world. It will not work. And you will see that and you will have to face that, get into that. Uh, the crystal ball is also seek wisdom in crystals and, and deeper knowledge and deeper wisdom. So you hear, um, not just by choice, also because your higher self told you to come to my channel and find me and really hear this information because you need to integrate that information because you were assigned to hear that very clear. That is as you hear me, me as I'm showing up in this deck as the storyteller, which is your story. So meaning everybody who watches this video, the story is actually personally for you. Know when you choose a difficult path that can also be governed by blindness. So I see the blind man in a difficult path here, meaning like if you're, blind, if you're blinded by a, 
the light of possibilities, you can make it more difficult for you than it actually is. Try to see and overcome that and make it easy and nice for you. Illness has to do with uh, a shield that you've created that actually affected you. And your shield was actually fear, meaning like uh, if I'm uh, being abused, as in childhood, uh, mommy says, you're doing it wrong and you cry. And then mommy says, come here. That's the false love. That is the fear installment. And if I cry and I'm in fear, mommy loves me more. So I, I seek abusive situations where I'm in fear. I'm being loved more. That's the wrong, absolutely the wrong interpretation of how I'm being loved. Know the difference between good and evil. Yes, we all stem from the source, but they are good deeds and they are bad deeds. It's not in a Buddhistic sense. They say there's no right and wrong. We're all from the same song. Not quite. There's destructive energy and there's creative energy. There's um, something that tears stuff apart. And there's stuff that brings stuff together. Look at this and feel what that means for you. That's the computer program that ran us. Knowing good and evil is good as this and uh, bad as this. And the equation of what I feel and the assembly is leading to uh, this must be this. Might be wrong. Because kids don't have that. Because they don't have preconceived notions of what is what. Chakra number. So we had one, two, three. This is your heart. Huh? Four is, you can say, the rainbow. Chakra number four. Okay, also read on what the fourth chakra is. So through your fourth window, or your fourth eye, or the heart eye, you see the window on reality, which I see green grass, blue sky, the sun, a wooden frame, everything natural for you opened. I also see that reflected light shows you what is. Do not add to the picture of your mind delusion what you think is, and that's what you had were shattered pieces. You collect those shattered pieces, you mend and fix the things in you that were broken or that you think they were broken or not right when you go deep. So meditation is recommended. That will ultimately lead to a safe path. Also, I recommend to you use the safer path, not the riskier path. That helps you when you observe. Observing the situation will lead to you actually getting really, really smart and to, okay, this is the safer route for me to take. I will take it from a vantage point here, not hurting anybody, but looking at where I am safe. That's very important this year. Look at the past of last year where you see unfinished business. I see a fragmented puzzle. It's almost complete, but there's something that's missing there. Well, uh, if there's loose ends or you want to travel or you want to make amends or you want to apologize to people or you say, I'm sorry for my behavior, whatever, it's the time to actually do that and finish your business. It'll help you on your path and create opening doors of abundance when you do that. The blame, I see the judge here, has to do with you blaming yourself for situations that you have been in. You no longer are forced to be run by a program that tells you that you have to blame it yourself. Stop the blame. I have to be like, Frank, stop running that. Nobody's to blame. We all make choices. The sum of choices leads, uh, lead us to a plateau that will give us a clear view when the mind is clear of, oh, okay, now I see. This is what must be done. You are wise. I'm just the mere reflection of you telling you that you are wise. For those that don't need to hear me, you don't even need to hear me. For those who need to hear me, you need to hear me. It's your choice. Life is full of choices, decisions you must make. Very simple. I see an empty box, like a travel chest, so put in your box what you need for your journey on this earth, in this new dimension. And think about the past when you thought certain situations were impossible to handle, and look at them now. Look at what's possible now. Heal that what was the impossible task and come into the possible past. Relieved, now activated into possible future. I see a chameleon. That means your adaptability is actually phenomenal. You shouldn't worry about that. You can do actually anything. There's nobody stopping you. 
I see something in you that was or is frozen of the things that you're undoing or not doing. It's the zombie in you that's the mentally asleep. Find out where you're sleeping. Find out where you're running the autopilot. Autopilot is like zombie. Where you're asleep. Uh, when you activate that and let go of routines and patterns, true love will find you. However that's revealed, it doesn't have to be marital status, monogamous, polyamorous, polygamous, all of these labels. It's just love. Know that you're being loved. Do not conceptualize it. Do not put it in a box. Do not think forever. Do not think this, that, and the other thing now. Be present and make the most out of that what you feel, with whom, or when, or however you feel it. And even if you have a crush, allow your feelings. Stop suppressing them. Allow them. They are true. They are you. They are the makeup of your soul. Chakra number five. Oops. Chakra number five. Let me see. Let's count so I make sure I'm home. We have one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay. I see creator energy in the castle. So leaving a house, moving into a new house. Your house is your castle. Your house is also your sanctuary. There's something within you that was a paradox. As you look at time, you wake up, you think it's Groundhog Day. It's a loop. Travel with a dance and the illusion of time and the paradox will dissolve itself because you are the paradox. I am the paradox. I am God figuring out you. You are God figuring out me as in the source figuring out who are we? How many are we? What's separated and what's oneness? That's the enigma, the pyramid in you. The enlightened one, which is you. You run on light, so you're actually already enlightened. That leads to the enlightened path. I see this uh, lighthouse here. And the enlightened path makes you see the liar, where I see a three-headed snake, meaning it's for people give you storylines and illusions. That means when you fall for that, that means you're not grounded enough. You're not seeing yourself in that manner, in that matter. And uh, the enlightened path actually will uh, decloak the liar. I see a secret lover here, or a secret love see a mysterious female figure with dark hair and I see a spirit on her side that whispers in her ear that could mean for the guys there's something going on there or for the girls into where they have a secret love or a secret crush you know you do you can't hide it it's being felt we can sense it and that's the collective talking to you well, look at it. Play with it. Don't deny it. Allow. Face the consequence of truth and transparency. Be responsible in your actions. These actions will have actually have you gravitate towards where you need to be going. And that leads to crossing paths. So you will walk into who you have to walk into. No stopping this. Whether it's a crush or not a crush or information or your best friend. Right now, the universe is sending you souls that you need to meet, that you need to talk to, that you need to sit with and that you need to really, really inhale who they are and remember who you lost and who's coming back as original families meeting back again. Very important. That will shatter your old belief system. It won't make sense anymore. You think your feelings are betraying you? Your feelings are now true. The only thing that's betraying you is basically we all have a little comfort bitch in us. We have to get over that and get into life and get in gear. Feel that and be safe and trust in that. It will be with you and you will be safe. But you have to stop complaining. Get up. Move. Don't even ask for anybody to give you action steps. Find your action steps and activate. Interesting how <laughs> my pat response here. So... Um, Activate those and get in what you have to do to make it more comfortable for you. But the work must be done by you. That's the protocol to ground yourself. That's why we have our addictions. Our addictions, emotional food, sweets, coffee, cigarettes, all of that stuff. are We are looping as escape, escapades of escapism of things that we, let's say, your first cigarette you had when you were 16. You're going back to that cigarette. Well, you're going back to that time loop when you were 16. You were comfortable. You felt good. And you, you're puffing on the cigarette. 
and all is well. Guess what? You're going back in time, you are regressing. You're not developing yourself. So find out where's, where there's an addiction to overcome also lies the trickster, which is your mind. The mind tricks you into believing that everything is okay when you're actually avoiding and denying, which is very easy for the ego and it's easy for the human race. Avoid and deny. It's like a main hobby of the human race. There's a wild animal in you. You're afraid of that. Living that, living that love, living that life, breathing, spreading your wings, getting out there saying, yes, I love life, I love people, yes, I love to love, I'm out here, here I am, accept me, and if you want to prosecute me, so be it. It's okay, you're accepted and you're loved. And that sets your imagination free that you have actually infinite possibilities of things to recreate your life because you are creator. So that is the chakra number one, two, three, four, five. Now yeah, we have six now. And then the last chakra. Okay, chakra number six. Again, this is all for this year, 2016, what you need to look at. I see war within. Where's the enemy? Who's the enemy? yourself your healing process requires to look at what's the enemy or what's the enemy picture and I see a chicken egg here so what was first the chicken or the egg meaning going to the root of the problem going to the source the egg is a spin is an elliptical symbol also and also a symbol of oneness and purity fresh start there's something in you that is like a reoccurring nightmare. Things that have been repetitive in your life. Look at that. You've been on the ship of fools. That was your past. Also, that has to do with your uh, Egyptian timeline. So everybody that watches this, and I don't care if this video gets 2,000 or 3,000 hits, you all lived in Egypt before. And you came back. Now remember, watch Ancient Aliens if you haven't. Watch things about Egypt and see how your emotional body responds. That has to do with cell memory. Get into activating that and feel yourself once again. Past Egyptian lifetimes are coming back to talk to you. Maybe talents, maybe formulas, maybe hieroglyphs. You wake up, you speak light language, whatever it is, get in gear. That's the message in the bottle for you. There's something in you that says, ah, mm, a lot of the stuff that I hear, mm, you're resisting, find yourself to, or see yourself, what is that resistor in you is the broken record. You keep repeating that song. It's a broken record. It's time to get over it, be open, create a healthy and open mind for new things to expand on new things and unknowns that you cannot all calculate with your egoic filter and mental overlay. Get into how does that feel? Is that comfortable? Is it clear? Do I clearly hear what's being communicated? Or am I mumbling myself into oblivious misunderstanding? Which ultimately leads to suffering. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> That's the storm inside of you. That's the restlessness. That will settle when you get resistance in you. The resisting cells. Uh, you watch the movie Lucy, you'll understand what that means of... You are expanding into higher consciousness and the rest of your body wants to go muggle, meaning 3D, I'm resisting. I don't want to expand. I don't want to see the magic that's actually there. The magic is behind the door. I see a door here that opens into an unknown realm. The only obstacle is here that you've been a slave of thought projections and preconceived notions that actually held you in a certain positions where you said, I can't allow myself to do that because I have obligations and blah, 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 blah. Nee, 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 nee. And the noodle that the uh, ego drops on you to show you how limited you are. You're not. You're actually unlimited. That frees your crown chakra and ultimately the connection to source. That is your blind spot. Connecting back to source through your crown chakra is imperative this year. Hear this. Again, you will face that some of your old friends either part ways or think that you're a lunatic when you do this because you will, uh, basically your past lives will bring skills back that you were like, I didn't even know that I could do this or I had talent to do this. Activate, live life to the fullest. Last of the known chakras, 
is chakra number seven. That says, finding a tolerant and ideal partner. Not just in a relationship of love as your best friend that understands you with your ups and downs and in-betweens and hiccups and whatever it is and whatever your partner preference is male female 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 male male past life partners however you come back have a partner that is your best friend that doesn't matter what your preference is how you love how you live where you come from doesn't matter what your status is or what your hobbies are or opinions are that is your best friend and is with you that's important friendship the love relationship has to be based on not just the sexual it has to be a friendship can you see me really without thinking betrayal or all that other stuff or ownership or that's how I want it or seeking the comfort zone in the wrong direction be safety for yourself be comfortable for yourself seek that within yourself and then leave your TP to share that with others because love is a shareable wave in case you have not noticed and that's the train that gets you to this paradox of time and that awakens for the girls the goddess in you the moon goddess the sea the emotional body and you no longer have to explain yourself why you are who you are full acceptance doesn't need any explanation that's what I see a broken cup is so you have to explain yourself yeah I'm this because in a year and you're tired kind of you're kind of tired of having to explain yourself all the time that's for everybody that listens to this video right now you don't need to explain yourself just be it's self-explanatory you with your self explanatory stories got that from lyrics that I wrote once and that I see a fossil that has to do with our memories the deeper memory of the self and a sense of self will set you free. You find stuff in your subconscious that was bent and twisted and how people would perceive you because you learned that growing up. That module you can actually erase and go over that, look at yourself, how you had a bent and twisted mind state and seeing and perceiving things. Again, preconceived notion can just do this to you and life does not make sense and you can't really get into, okay, where what does this lead what does that actually mean for me that connects ultimately to your sacral and the sacral connects to the crown and when that's clear that's where your interpreter is an interpreter as the hieroglyphs and symbolism lined up that means how do you interpret the situation that you look at by what value systems are you going to say okay this is what I see this is how I really objectify the situation or subjectify the situation maybe you can create something neutral within you that can look at the situation and say ah okay this is what it is I do not mix my trigger points with that nor do I get triggered by what's coming in here this is what I need to look at this is what I need to be fixing and I hope this concludes the reading I'll give you a quick symbolism look of what I just read is what I did is I mixed the cards and then I got into actually how do I see that with the best of my knowledge and my observation skills to what is to be read and these and you might want to go over this video again are the things that you need fixing in your life and you will soar like an eagle and outer space interstellar go with your mind where no one has gone before star trek it star wars enjoy life really live it to the fullest make choices be steadfast move onward and upward and let nobody stop you i totally feel you i love you very much all those that watch that whether you believe it or not i'm about it i hardly blink I'm really serious, really, is be that, live life to the fullest, in love, and most of all, love yourself. You are all that you have, and love is actually all there is and ever was. You're an emotional being when you come to this planet. 
you get born, you know, you see the bright light, the doctors, you get smacked and you're like, what's going on over here? Wah! And then they calm you down, try to show you actually, it's, it's a harsh planet, it's three dimensional, but you can get used to it, you can make it. So make the best of it. Shamans prepared ourselves for 30,000 years that this is the best time you can be in as in transitional mode for things to be done. But don't expect things to pop out out of thin air without doing the work for that. The universe requires you to work. That is your angelic grounding on this planet and that's your rite of passage. So this reading concludes what needs fixing in the year 2016. So now you have actually an idea of how I do readings, when I do personal readings, when I have a, a person in front of me, it gets even more personal to the deepest and hidden levels of past and growing up. I hope this helped you. I hope you find parallels in your life where you have to really look at things where like, there was something there and if it's just one piece, then that piece was for you because believe you me, there is no coincidence. Things that can't avoid it will be. You drop a glass from a certain height, it will break. When we understand certain realities, rules and regulations, some can be bent, some can be broken, some can be expanded and some can be rewritten. The choice is you, you are the Jedi, you are the Magi, you are the master, you descended, you ascended, you did it before, you're all back here to learn it again now step up, embrace yourself, wear your crown, the 13 crystal skulls that are in your crown chakra, activate them, bring it back, activate yourself, and rise up. This is your time. Namaste. I love you very much. <laughs>